Okay, so my demonstration for tonight is a really quick one, but it's, uh, I asked Danny earlier today, I said, did we ever do a demonstration for a false bottom? He said, I think so. But I looked through my notebook and I have this notebook where I have all my outlines for Social Sunday from this year since January. And I didn't see one for a false bottom, so I apologize, apologize if I did one from last year, but um, as I hadn't, hadn't done one from this year, and especially since I have that new um, corrugated plastic, I wanted to show you how to do it. It's really easy. It's like a five minute, quick five minute fix. So I'm gonna pop over to the side camera and show you how to do it. Okay, so for the false bottom, you just need your corrugated plastic, which I showed you at the beginning of the show, and you'll need two pieces of fabric. So the way to determine how large to make these two pieces of fabric is you'll finish your bag first, and you can make a false bottom for nearly any bag, but you'll wanna measure the finished dimensions of uh, the bottom of the bag minus the seam allowance. So I just arbitrarily decided to make my false bottom uh, 12 inches by six inches. So I cut two pieces of fabric and I placed them right sides together and I sewed three of the edges using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So after I sewed those three edges, I just clipped the corners. So I used my scissors to cut diagonal across the corners and then I turned the fabrics right side out and pressed. So here's what the fabric looks like after I turned it right side out and pressed it. I used my precision turning tool to poke out the corners and then just rolled the seams with my fingers to get a nice press on all three edges. All right, so because I cut my fabrics 12 inches by six inches, I cut my corrugated plastic a little bit smaller. So I actually cut the corrugated plastic um, 11 and a quarter of an inch by five and a quarter of an inch. So that's basically my dimensions that I had before minus three quarters of an inch on two of the sides. And so the corrugated plastic just needs to be cut a little bit smaller so that it fits snugly inside the fabric. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that in between the two layers. And like I said, I wanted it to be a snug fit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly push that corrugated plastic down toward that short end where the crease is. And then you wanna just leave yourself a little bit of room where the raw edge is. So there's, there's two ways that you can clo close up that opening. I tend to take the easy way, and so I would finger press the raw edges toward the inside by a quarter of an inch and then kind of just push that corrugated plastic down in the layers and machine stitch that opening closed by an eighth of an inch that's what I would do you can also slip stitch this opening closed if you prefer not to see those visible visible top stitching from the eighth of an inch so really simple and easy method how to make a false bottom if you use a, a waterproof material like that corrugated plastic you can leave that false bottom in the bag when you wash it, or if you use something else like the foam core board, which is what I used to use, um, just you just wanna take that false bottom out of the bag before you wash it, but super nice and sturdy. It'll take a ton of weight, and as you can see, I'm bending this as hard as I can, and it's not gonna break, so um, really great idea. I love the idea of a false bottom because it stops the bottom of your bag from bowing down under the weight of putting heavy items in it, so it's a good idea, especially if you wanna keep your bag's shape. So I have a question for you. Let me know in the comments. Um, have you made a false bottom before? You could just let me yes, let me know yes or no in the comments, and I'm curious to see, um, and I'm gonna check um, on the comments as they roll through. I'm curious to see how many, have you, how many of you have made a false bottom before.